folks. Here we go. We're, we're coming up on the next fight. It's going to be the 147-pound semifinal. It's going to be, be between Roman and Rosa. Roman is fighting out of the Worcester Boys Club, and Rosa is fighting out of Lexington. Scheduled for three two-minute rounds. Out of the red corner tonight is Alberto Roma. Out of the red corner, Al Alberto Roma. In the blue corner, of course, it's going to be Tom Rosa from Lexington. What's your name? And 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 Rosa. Rosa. These these, these two big big kids, big kids there, Paulie. These, it's getting bigger each time. Yeah, they're getting, they're getting bigger and better punches being thrown. See a lot of more experience with these boys. Yes, yeah, sir. Rosa is the one in white. Rosa, Tom Rosa, wearing the white trunks and and the blue sh blue tank top. Roma, is in the black. Roma with the black trunks and the red top. Oh, and a right hand lands landed by Roma. He's dancing around the ring. Is Roma? Oh, and the left hand, the left jab lands. Got yeah, a fast jab this year, uh, Roma kid. Uh, he's not landing them all, but he gets one or two in there. So hitting gloves. Uh, Rosa looks kind of looks like he's waiting for him, and he, he lands a left hand, and they're just just drawing the haymakers here. That was a great exchange there. Good, good exchange. These two are it. By both people, they both did a good job there. Both fighters really looking looking for it in this semi-final matchup. Right hand lands. Now this left hand, the, see Rosa looks like he's kind of uh, backpedaling there, Paulie, and those pe those punches landing aren't, aren't that effective. Yeah, well, they, when they backpedal like that, they're taking a little breather. They, they do, he was throwing a lot of punches. So he's trying to get a little breather, but he'll be back showing him again. Just a few seconds here. Oh, in the corner now, Roma trying to fight his way out. Rosa keeping keeping the pressure on him. Now they're out in the center of the ring. And they're just eyeing each other down here, trying to feel each other out. Roma lands with the overhand right and comes up with an uppercut. Kind of looks like he rocked, locked, rocked Rosa a little bit. Yeah, he did, he, uh, but it wasn't enough to do any damage. Now Roma on the ropes. Kind of looks like he's waiting for Rosa, but Rosa just keeps coming, keeps that momentum persistent, and that'll do it for the first round of action, Paulie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... So here on ABT, NEA, NEABF action, amateur fighting at its best, Paulie. This is the first step to the 1996 Olympics. Well, it looks like a, it looks like a good step, and uh, as it, <laughs> like I say again, as we're going along and get into the heavier weights, we're seeing some uh, much better fighters. Of course, by the time the Olympics start, these kids will be a lot better than polished as if, if they have a few more fights. Round two here at the NEABF. 20-point must, must system. Roma is in the black trunks. Rosa in the white. Left hand landed by Roma. He looks like he's she's on his on his back pedal there though. Yeah, he's Paulie. Right now he's backing up right now. Uh, Roma. Rosa. Talk. Ro Rosa. That's right. He's backing up. Oh, a right hand. Good exchange. Right hand keeps landing for Roma. Oh, another big right hand, Paulie. I think that's going to be the punch that does it for him. That's right. If he's he got to throw a lot more of them and connect with these punches. A lot of these punches look like they're landing, but they're not. They're uh, not getting their targets uh, in that big, sight at all. That big overhand right seemed to land. Didn't didn't look like it do, did too much damage to this boxer Rosa. Rosa, of course, fighting out of Lexington. Roman fighting out of the Worcester Boys Club. The left, 
Looks like Roma's trying to keep him away with the left hand to set him up for the right. He is, definitely. He's uh, getting him with the left hand and hoping he can get an overhand right on him. That jab works. One to the head, one to the body, then the overhand right? Yeah, well, a jab, a jab is the whole fight. Without a good jab, uh, you can't land any other punch. Jab is your leadoff punch in order to throw the combination or the bomb, you know. Well, that, that usually sets things up. Oh, a right hand. Good exchange. Good exchange there. A right hand landed by Rosa and a left hand landed by, by Roman. And off the ropes now, Rosa come, comes right out into the middle of the ring fighting this big Ro Roman kid. And look. Good exchange by both fighters. Both fighters. Good, good, ex hands, yeah. good exchange. It look, looks like Rose is a little bit wobbly. Now he looks like he might have his composure. But Roman look, looks like he's bobbing and weaving more than, than Roman is. Uh, Roman was pressing the other right hand there. Roman was pressing the other hand. Just before the bell, Roman, Roman was going, moving in, and that gives him a little bit of the points and credits as he's pushing the fight. Fight's not only won, won, uh, won a point uh, scored by uh, punches, but who presses the fight and who pushes the fight. There's a lot, a lot of credit given for that, too. Sure. That, well, of course, it's the 20-point must system here in the NEABF. You watch the NEABF on ABT. This is going to, coming up is the third and final round of this 100 and... 47 pound bout between Alberto Roman and Tom Rosa. Some heavy action thus far though, Paulie. Good, good punches landing on both fighters. Definitely is, and uh, we get great exchanges. And, and uh, this round, the third round, is gonna show the effects of those punches, and we're gonna find out very shortly who, who's uh, gonna win it. Here we go, third and final round of the 100 and 47 pound weight class, Roma and Rosen. Roma in the long black trunks, Rosa in the white trunks. And it looks to be Rosa, the aggressor. Oh, a big right hand landed by Roman. Roman, Roman with a nice right hand there. Another one, nice inside fighting here. Some good, good, good inside fighting going on here. Good inside battling. Roman look, looks to be keeping him away though, and, and, and he seems like he's the more experienced fighter of the two. Yeah, he's a more of a walk-in fighter. The other kid seems to be holding back just a little bit, standing up too straight, but uh, he's dangerous. Uh, uh, Rosa is dangerous because he can get a good straight right hand as Roman's coming in, so he, he's got to watch that. Well, he wouldn't have made it this far unless he was pretty good though, Paulie. And, and this Roman kid though, he look, like you say, he looks like you know, he's bobbing and weaving and, and he looks looks to be moving a little bit more more smoothly than, than does Rosa. Yeah, he definitely is, and uh, they're both of them are keeping their composures. That's, that's the main thing, you know, they're throwing a lot of punches. You don't see them really exhausted there, breathing heavy, like the earlier fights. Sure, a little bit more experienced are, the, are these fighters in the 147 pound weight class. This is the semi-final fight, so these two have had to fight their way up, and there's a great exchange there against the ropes. That was a good exchange there. The both fighters still looking to go at it. They, they, look, they look like in fine condition, too. They keep you going. Oh, a right hand landed by Rosa in the corner on Roman. Roman comes out of the corner now. The fighters are separated by the referee. Oh, a right hand landed by Roman, and then he falls down into the ropes, and Rosa keeps the pressure on. And now it's turned around. Rosa against the rope, a big right hand. Looks like that really shook him there, Polly. Good exchange there, both exchange. I think Rosa had a, a, a lot more uh, punches uh, landed than, than uh, Roma did, but uh, Roma come back with some good punches. And uh, usually the guy that comes back after taking a project comes back and lands some good punches, usually takes that credibility from the one that just landed them, you know. Well, the judge. Judge Leo Gerstel handed the scorecard to the referee. The other judges tonight are Billy Conley, and the referee, of course, is, is a judge. In, it has the decision-making power in the fight. He's also one of the judges. And the fighters are now at the center of the ring. They're facing away from our cameraman. What did you do over there, John? Here we go. Roma, Roma came away with the victory. So he, he goes on to fight tomorrow night. You'll see any ABF action 
on ABT, folks. We'll be right back.